game to the right place. Sweetie Belle remains on the safe side of the slingshot because unicorns are still OP. This works. Scootaloo could have just as easily poked her head through some equipment at the Rainbow Factory. Pinky Parental Pie. You know you live in a bad neighborhood when it's best not to investigate some pony screaming out front, but do keep your ear to the door ready to respond just in case your husband calls for help. Taxes are foals play. The real money is selling tacky collectibles. Good Scootaloo. Uh oh Scoots, you better work on this report quickly. These copyrighted photos are just asking for trouble. You always wear that shirt? <laughs> Actually, it's uh, laundry day. If today's laundry day, why is he wearing clothes at all? To meet some pony that loves Rainbow Dash as much as we do. Oh, I don't love her. I'm just a big fan of the true crime genre. Our little Dashie was an early learner. That's right, bronies. The show is making it very clear that she's not your little Dashie. Unlike Flurry Heart, Dash had to earn her main character eyes. It's like when Twilight earned her wings, except instead of visiting the Twilight Zone, you visit an optometrist. Open up your eyes. Rainbow Dash's linen closet. A linen closet isn't something people normally have in their bedrooms, unless Dash had to change the sheets often. Bedwetter confirmed. Dash stole these human foot-shaped shoes from Lyra. The past lack of appreciation for tortoises, as seen in the pet episode, has been retconned. Talk about a crappy Stinky. trade. Door handle magically changes shape. This photo ejects upside down, contrary to every other photo taken. Scootaloo owns photos of Dash, which she couldn't possibly have captured. Unless she hacked into Hasbro's network of hidden cameras, which document every pony's daily lives, that is. So proud! Dad, hold it together. We're in public. Actually, Dash, this is a restricted area, meaning there are no restrictions on embarrassment here. Hello! Greetings, small ponies. So much time has passed since Bo Hothoof raised our little Dashie that he's forgotten what children are. Fun fact, Scootaloo keeps two versions of her Rainbow Dash scrapbook. One for the report, one for blackmail. The show's about to start. Ah, glad to hear it, Apple Bloom. Scootaloo's PowerPoint presentation was getting rather stale. Can you really call yourself a fan of something unless you try to kill it with explosives? You can't have an autographs table without a brony reference. You sign that photo! Yeah, you signed that photo of yourself posing with Scootaloo's parents. Good thing Bo Hothoof brought a spare shirt to wear for the rest of the episode. There is no greater insult than receiving the bird from a bird pony. Grown adults mocking Dash by celebrating her dead last position and literally slapping a participation sticker on her face makes it no surprise she turned out the way she did. But then, when I started to win competitions, things got even worse. And by worse, she means even years later they reused the exact same voice line. Your parents realize you didn't win, don't they? Puberty was not kind to poor win. little Dumbbell. You think you such a big shot? Greatest tragedy of the show takes place in the background rather than having a season of its own. But also, Derpy. Being the best, it came with consequences. Poor Rainbow Dash and her first place problems, suffering from success. Rainbow Dash really set these pins up for a strike. Some ponies would dream of having parents like that. Yeah, right. They won. Me. Scootaloo refers to a time when she was growing up, as if she's not still a child. Shattered Scooter Snoot. I am pretty good at napping. I can fall asleep anywhere. <sighs> Most people don't brag about their narcolepsy dash. Oh wow, we're at the same place we've been this whole time. Best useless blindfolds ever. Scootaloo's lip sync is off by about a syllable or two. Pony in my life. Also, you're a bit late to the trend, Scoots. Doing class presentations about ponies is so 2011. How is Scootaloo graded on her report anyway? Does Cheerly fact check using her handy dandy Rainbow Dash encyclopedia? Then again, she can probably just check the wiki. <laughs> I'll give you a B. You know, Scootaloo, it's very fortunate you got a B. Considering all of the copyrighted screenshots, you could have gotten a C and D. You really know your Rainbow Dash history. You know, some ponies would dream of having parents like that. Yeah, right. Name one. <sighs> Me.